filling out the electronic agent survey form, um, we're going to cover, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your map, make sure that you have an, an accurate map. The way that I like to do it is, um, and the way you'll want to do it is to, to add up the totals, like for instance, metal halides, um, 46 of them, and I like to circle these on the right, um, 24 metal halide, 100 watt, 15 2 by 8 T12s, etc. Then, once you have this, the map, you're collecting everything from the map, you're adding up the totals of each type of measure, then you go to the electronic form, um, make sure to put in your agent name, Jim, the hours, uh, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., uh, seven days, or uh, Monday through Friday, and Saturday, uh, 9 to 5, Sunday, 9 to 3. Okay, and then make sure to put in the total number of hours, weekly total. Let's say in this case, uh, we add this up and it's, um, it, you know, works out to uh, 80 hours a week. 80. Okay, company name, contact name you can you want to fill this stuff in of course but let's skip over that for right now uh, and put make sure to put the date 3 7 2012 okay great now um, go down to the fixture quantity and taking from the map that you have you're gonna want to uh, fill in first first of all the style um, and this is a high bay and in the warehouse and they've got fixture quantity 46 okay and you can see it populates um, these oops I'm sorry I just put it in the wrong area high bay warehouse uh, 46 let's skip that and let's move it so we delete that and we take it down to where it belongs metal halide uh, 400 watt we put 46 of those and of course we can just take the um, the what we took, wrote in before, and we could just copy it down uh, into the uh, into the correct column, like that, and delete what we put up there. Okay. Then um, weekly hours. Again, we said that it was 80 hours per week, so we're going to put 80. I'm going to put 80 here um, and here in the weekly hours per fixture, since everything inside is 80 hours. I'm going to just run it all the way down through here okay and you can see now that the the high bay fixtures here have uh, it's populated because we put the number of fixtures and the hours and it's populated as long as you're getting the watt saved per week over here you're good to go okay the next one 24 metal halide 100 watts um, is not on Okay, so let's skip over. We've got 2 by 8 T12s, 15 2 by 8 12, T12s. So I'm going to throw 15 of those in. 15, and it populates over here where we want. Um, 2 by 4, and we've got 4 2 by 4 T12s. So 2 by 4 T12s, we've got 4 of those. We throw those in. Great. And 134 by 4 T8s. So 4 by 4 T8s, 130 of those. Okay. And you'll notice, okay, great. It's it's filling in the fixture. I put in the fixture quantity. It automatically creates the lamp count uh, for it. And there's 24 by 4 T12. So 4 by 4 T12, 20 of those. Great. And you just want to make sure that it's populating everything over here on the watt save per week. Okay. Then uh, exterior. And th these are all the interior lights. Okay, and then as you move down, you see that these are the exterior lights. On the exterior lights, uh, we have 21 metal halide 250s, so those are right here. We put 21 of those in, and that populates automatically. The weekly hours on exterior is 84. It's already pre-populated in this form. Okay. Um, then, if you have anything that's not showing here, okay, like for instance, I've got 24 metal halide 100 watts, and all I have 
is Metal Halide 400 and 250. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and create my own uh, column uh, right here. Okay, and I'm going to put in Metal Halide uh, 400 watt. So I'll just go ahead and put in the wattage, and I'm going to change it to an induction. Um, let's say, I'm sorry, that was a Metal Halide 100 watt, and let's say I, I want to change that to an induction 40 watt okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put in the old wattage new wattage and that automatically populates the watt saved now if you don't know what the um, rebate amount is which we don't in this case you'd go to the next closest thing and be up above we see the metal halide 400 and the 250 their rebates are 125 and 75 I'm gonna kind of extrapolate that a hundred watt is gonna be phew, something like half of that so I'll just put in a conservative let's say 35 watts okay 35 or I'm sorry $35 for rebate okay um, I don't know that that's the case but we'll find out um, and and again this is a you're trying to get around a 90 percent accuracy on this um, this is for the presentation and this will be cleaned up later once we have the deal signed we'll go in and get the all the accurate numbers um, the quantity of these 24 okay and we whoops uh, 24 of those, okay, and uh, okay, great, and lamps not applicable because all we're doing is changing these metal halide fixture to a 40 watt fixture, so uh, I put NA in the lamps, and it's populated the number over here, so it looks like I'm good to go, okay, and that's metal halide 100. Anything else that, that's not showing on our form you can go in and again you just take a rebate extrapolate a rebate from the closest ones um, and that's good enough for the um, for the initial uh, initial proposal okay and then now once you've input all these in I, I always like to just go over and make sure that all the measures I put in have their watt save per week showing up over here on the right uh, they are in this case all looks good it's all in there Ooh, and I realized I forgot to put my refrigerator in okay so I'm gonna throw one refrigerator in and that populates so looks like we're good to go now I look down total watt save per week is down here we got that and it the form is gonna automatically populate the annual kilowatt save annual cost savings um, monthly cost savings co2 savings annual cars off the road it also is gonna create the total rebate, the total OBF available, okay, and the number of fixtures total, 334. Good job. So this is a nice, good size uh, deal. And from here we can, um, it's going to give, it gives me all the numbers that I need uh, to put into the proposal form. And I am done.